Hi, today we are discussing about repository workflow manager. So here first open workflow manager, power center workflow manager. So using workflow manager we are preparing sessions and workflows. We are executing the mappings which we created in designer window. So means here we are passing data from source to target in between we applied so many transmission. So based on the transmission it will filter the data. Finally it will load the data into the target. So from workflow manager we can schedule the jobs, we can send the emails and uh, we can set the timers. So so many options we have from here. So first we'll see how we are creating the sessions and workflows and how we are executing the sessions and how we are connecting to the database to retrieve the data and to load the data into the targets. So in the designer already we created the mapping on EMP table. In that mapping we are loading the data from source EMP to target EMP. We are not applied any transmission in between. We are not applied any logic step. Just we are migrating data from source EMP to the target EMP. Connect to the repository first. So same thing, administrator is super user here. Connect to the repository. So you, we have two folders. In dev folder, we created that mapping. So here we have integration service. On repository, we created one integration service. Using this integration service, the client request will send into the repository database. So integration service is a mediator here to send the client request to the repository database. Okay, so same way uh, go to tools you will get all the options here task developer, workflow designer and workload designer. In the task developer, we are creating the sessions and we are assigning the connections based on the source and target type. We are preparing the connections like if it is a file, we are mentioning the path or if it is a relational database, we are creating the connections. So based on the source and target database type, we are preparing the connections to retrieve the data and to load the data. And next workflow designer. So like this we have uh, so many sessions in the real time. Like uh, in real time in designer we are preparing multiple mappings like 50, 100, 200 based on the project size, based on the project requirements. For each and every mapping we are preparing the sessions. Using sessions only, we can read the data, we can load the data into the target. In designer, just we prepare the code from session, we are loading the data into the target. So like this, we have so many mappings, we have to create so many sessions for each and every mapping. Sometimes we have dependencies also. Okay, for example, one doctor is there. So doctor is a contact here. So I'm maintaining doctor related information in the contact. For doctor related address, I'm maintaining another table. I created another table address. For communication details to the doctor, I'm created one more table. Okay like fax, phone number, email address, like that. So totally I have three tables on contact the two dependency objects or 
communications and address. If the particular contact is available in the database, then only we are loading related communication details and related address related details. So he, here the contact is a parent object. So if the parent ID is present, then only we can load the data. So dependencies we have. For contact, we are preparing one mapping. For address, we are pre preparing one mapping for communication. So for three mappings, we have to prepare three sessions. So for three sessions, first we need to run first session one contact. After first session is successfully completed, then only we have to run the second two sessions because second two sessions are the dependency sessions. So to design this flow, the dependency flow, to execute the flow, we have to prepare workflow designer. So workflow designer we will discuss in the next class. It's an advanced concept again here. Other than that, we have another advanced concepts also. So now I'm connecting to the task developer. Here I'm creating one session. Go to task, create. Same way as indicates session. Source, target, and this is basic load. Click on create. So we are creating this session on top of the mapping. Now we have only one mapping in the designer. So just select this, click on OK. Done. So edit this. In mapping, you have source and target. So here you have to give the source connection and target connection. Using this connection, it will connect to the database to import the data means uh, to pass the data from source to target okay so first we need to prepare the connection go to connection tab in menu click on relational so here select oracle this is oracle database right click on new we have to prepare two connections or uh, now we used only Scott right so we can use only single connections uh, for Scott user so if, uh, for example, if, uh, if source user is different, target user is different, then you have to prepare two connections. Now we have only one uh, user, right? Scott. Source and target both are in available in same user. Okay. So this is Scott connection. The username is here, Scott. The password is Tiger. And the database name is Oracle DB. Click on OK. No? Okay, connection is ready. Edit, go to mapping. So here select source, edit this arrow key. You will get this connections here. Click on OK. For target also same. Select target, go to relational, arrow key, Scott. So here you have target load type bulk to normal changes. So bulk load, we it will not accept. Uh, like uh, if you have any constraints and indexes on the target, it will not support to load bulk data at a time. So normal load means record by record, it will load. So other options also we have, we'll discuss in the advanced clauses. So now just we created the connection, we add that connection to the source and target. Apply. Right click on this session, validate, go to repository, save. So session is ready, then create your workflow. Go to workflow designer, same menu will change. Click on workflow, create. So here also we have naming conventions, W or WF, source and target. This is basic load. So here you have integration service. If you want to change into another integration service, just click on here. You will get available integration service, which we created on this repository. 
just select other integration service to execute these flows. So now we create a workflow. This is the workflow. Just drag and drop the session from here to here. Go to task, link task from workflow to session. Again, go to workflow, validate, go to repository, save. So we created the session, we created the connection, we mapped the connection with the session for the source and target. After that, we created the workflow and we joined with the session. Now our coding part is completely completed. So we created mapping, session, workflow. So now this is ready to execution. Go to workflow, click on start workflow. When you are starting this workflow, automatically the mapping workflow monitor will open. In that workflow monitor, you will get the statistics of the source and target. How many records are processed? How many records you got in the target if you have any rejected records it will show the rejected records and each and every log information it will give in detail in session log the start time end time records in the source successful records in the source successful records in the target if you have any errors it will show what are the errors we have why it is failed everything we can get from session log okay we'll see go to workflow and start workflow it will open that monitor window we'll see how we can check the source and target statistics okay it's open right maximize this so here you have different views task view and this is one more view so it started on 7 something still it's running with the task view okay in progress it will show the start time it will show and the end time still it's running so it succeeded see the start time 7.42.51 the end time 7.42.52 okay sorry this is the both the start times of workflow and session these are the end times 7.43.21 the completion time okay so here we got 14 records in the source and 14 records in the targets okay this is the mapping we used uh, in this session this is the node we used and this is the integration service we used to run this session so here we'll get in details uh, like applied rows in um, target applied rows in source effector rows in the target table and source table there is no rejected records zero records throughputs for seconds okay the byte through uh, throughput for second there is no errors or encounter this is the session log you will get all in detailed information how the process uh, will complete it and what are the things uh, it did the entire details you can check here so this is very very helpful when you are debugging the defects uh, this is very very helpful so now we got records right we can check in the database so select star from EMP TGT so 14 records we have okay so previously there is no data because that is a new table now we executed the mapping so that's why we got 14 records in sources also we got uh, I mean we have 14 records only select star from EMP so 14 records so 14 records we got in the target because this is the basic load we not applied any conditions or anything there just we loaded our direct data into the target so one more thing you can check the data from designer also target data not source data we can check from designer also we 
right click preview data so connect to the Scott user type so 14 records up to 500 records we can check from here so above 500 if you want to check just go to the database and check fine at one just I'm entering one to five hundred we can show okay so this is the basic load so after this class just we are applying the transmission after source qualifier so based on the different scenarios we are selecting different transmission to apply filter condition to add that like a bonus or discounts uh, if you want to check whether the record is already loaded or not in the target if you want if you want to join any records if you want to sort any records so different scenarios we have based on that scenario we are selecting different transmission to update the targets or to filter the uh, records so to add them add some values into the columns so different scenarios we are discussing uh, we can discuss our uh, different transmissions so but this is the basic mapping to load the source data into the target so these are the total designer uh, client objects like a repository manager designer workflow manager and monitor so these are the four client tools we have in the client side the developer will start the work from the designer so from here we are importing the sources and targets we are preparing the mappings so after creation of the mappings just we are preparing the sessions and workflows from sessions we are executing the uh, source data into the targets so this is the common process for all the mappings uh, just uh, we are applying the logics based on the transmission uh, we are changing the rules and everything so the next class in the next class we'll see what are the transmissions we have and how we are applying the transmission in the designer window thank you